Hi, we're looking at gluten and yodula rising to the occasions world of gluten and the story of the Tia Mitzayim and the Exodus from Egypt. These are part of the J Steam Jets courses. And here we go. We're going to look at a couple of the topics, and the rest is up to you. If you want to see more, you'll have to go to the website and get it. So first, if you click on Start Course, you get this page. You can click, and here is down here is the menu, so you can see what's coming up in the course. And you can click on any of these links, and they will all take you right to that spot. If you want a larger screen, you can click on those three bars, and then uh, go right ahead. So what does freedom mean to you? Of course, the famous quote on the Statue of Liberty, that if Pesach is all about freedom, then what does it mean to you? You can pop in on a uh, couple of preview videos. So you can brainstorm with the class. When you see a J blended JSIM course from Jets, you can either give everyone a device, you can give partners of students a device, you can share the the screen on a, the videos and the content on a screen, and no one can have devices. It's really up to you how you'd like to implement it. So here, how does does freedom mean to you? Here's a brainstorm, and you can post your one of the ideas below and add your own, and uh, you go on to that's on a Padlet. How do you post? You press on the plus sign here, and you can add picture you just type in what you would like what kind of picture you would like to add and you can choose any any of the topics that are written there and you can also voice record or write or type you can do any of these things why i love padlet anyway we continue with the session what happened to the jews in egypt we all know that pesach is about freedom what exactly does it mean? So we know that they came from slavery to freedom. And here's a little video uh, about that. So this is the repeating the story and showing all the different um, types of slavery that the Israelites were in, and it became a quest for liberty and freedom. So you can click on any of these. It inspired the pilgrims to be liberated, uh, the American Revolution, the pros of the Great Seal of the United States show of Moses, lifting his rod, and the Civil Rights Movement became part of that song that we just heard. And here's another uh, take of it. Martin Luther King, of course. And what does unleavened bread have to do with freedom? To us, it makes sense because we've been doing it for so many years. But actually, it's actually a really good question. So we know that we left too quickly. The bread did not have time to rise. There's actually a lot more to it uh, than we think. You have to look at different types of bread and in order to really figure this out. And we encourage schools or at home or however it is you like, we encourage you to take a look at the four different types of bread shown here uh, in these pictures. It is shown here in the slideshow and then it's summarized here on the bottom. And you need to guess which type of civilization used this type of bread. So you have matzot, flat bread, dough, risen bread with yeast that we use today. And then we have uh, no yeast bread. So you can just take it and plop it in the right direction, in the proper category. I'm not going to show you all the answers. It's for you to figure out. But you can do this. You, we definitely encourage for you to take out all four types of bread, obviously, before Pesach and figure that out. The course continues, what makes bread rise, what is yeast, and what makes it rise. So you do an experiment, we encourage these experiments to be done live, and it goes through it, you walk through the experiment, and interesting yeast, so if we know yeast was only created in the 19th century, and therefore there was something called sourdough. So you're going to have to figure out the rest of the course.